I'm not a nurse and you know, I, I don't do nursing. However, I have come across this whole situation with the nurses from Midtown Emory and their icks. Um, and okay, I don't agree with all of them, especially not the one about the pain management because as a person that with a high tolerance for pain, I did not want medication for a long time. It took my pain getting to be extreme for me to accept pain medication for um, having my babies. So um, yeah, I might be in pain, but if I can take it, I don't want any medicine because that medicine is addictive and a lot of people just don't want to take the risk. So that I will say. What I will also say is I have given birth at Emory in Midtown, not once, twice, not to your typical regular babies, to disabled children, okay? The level of care that I received at Emory Midtown is superior, okay? It's a chicken salad. It was great. It, it was fantastic. When I tell you the nurses, especially this last time, Y'all don't know the story of what happened with my son, but this last time it was traumatic. I went through the worst experience in my life with that baby. And those nurses are the reason why I got through it. Those nurses were the ones in my room with me while I was boohoo crying, while I was begging God to do something to save my baby, while I was fighting like hell to keep my baby in my uterus. Y'all don't understand. Y'all ruined those ladies' lives off of a challenge that y'all created. Y'all made the challenge. You mad at them because they don't like y'all coming up there with that ghetto-ass shit? That's what you mad about? One of my nurses had a patient up there. And I only know this because um, she was boohoo crying. And her baby daddy not only gave her and her child HIV... But the motherfucker left her there. Alone. So honestly, you think these women ain't gonna have no icks working in downtown Atlanta? Where y'all come up there with the most raggedy situations and the most raggedy niggas and the most dumb shit. These women is dealing with some crazy shit on a daily fucking basis. It's okay when they on here on TikTok and they telling y'all stories and shit. But it ain't okay when they telling y'all they don't like y'all bullshit. They might not have been wrong and the shit was distasteful as hell. And they really shouldn't have posted it. But to get them women fucking fired when every single day, women like me, those women helped me. Those women made it where I was willing to fight just a little bit harder. And y'all don't even understand how bad y'all, y'all fuck people whole lives for nothing. Because you don't like what they said. to read. As they should. What up, Nurse Gang? What up, TikTok? So, that was a girl named Jamie Gossman. One of the few many women on TikTok enjoying these nurses' downfall. Um, celebrating someone losing their job, being fired. Along with that, the Daily Mail posted these young ladies. Emory University apologizes after nurses make disrespectful TikToks about new parent and labor delivery icks. Motherly posted these nurses. Labor and delivery nurses get fired for making fun of patients and of viral TikTok about their icks. Entertainment and news. Nurses slammed for sharing annoying requests from moms in labor, including asking for water and blankets. Y'all love to spin a narrative. That's... My ick is when you ask me how much the baby was. Oh my God, have you seen the video going around of the labor and delivery? My ick is... Okay. My ick for your... So there's this video that's circulated. And there you have it, ladies and gents. There you have it. Karen's gone wild. <clears throat> Within 24 hours, they ruin these women's lives, careers, everything that they've worked for. <clears throat> I see people saying, oh, they can get a job tomorrow. Where? They're in about five major news articles. 
they're all over social media, Facebook. They're everywhere as being bad L&D nurses and disrespecting their patients. Where are they getting a job at right now? And Karen's love that word accountability. Yeah, you just hide behind accountability as a way to spew your nasty hate and your racist antics. Who are you accountable to? You are actually sitting there. That's a woman named Jenna Gossman in the first video. You're actually sitting there sipping, cheering, celebrating someone else's demise and downfall. You guys don't know who these nurses have depending on them, what families they have. You don't know what obligations they have. You ruin these women's lives in 24 hours because you are upset about a TikTok and you sit there sipping and smiling with your yellow ass teeth in this video. You know, it's not right. And as you can see down the timeline, it's nothing but Karens making videos about these women. It's not acceptable. And y'all need to be held accountable. Mm. New this morning, Emory Healthcare is speaking out about a viral video that features nurses speaking critically about patients. The video cuts between four labor and delivery nurses sharing their icks. It's a word used to describe what they don't like to see or hear from patients and their families. Emory released a statement Friday morning saying the nurses had been fired. Here's a quote. We are aware of a TikTok video that included disrespectful and unprofessional comments about maternity patients at Emory University Hospital Midtown. This video does not represent our commitment to patient and family-centered care and falls far short of the values and standards we expect. My ick is when you come in for your induction talking about, can I take a shower and eat? What? My ick is when you ask me how much the baby weighs and it's still, and it's still in your hands. <laughs> Dad comes outside and asks for a paternity test right outside the room door. Saying you don't want any pain medicine, no epidural, but you are at an eight out of 10 pain with just a Cervidil and you're still closed fingertip when well, we've already told you to push the call light but every five minutes your Excuse family me. member coming Excuse at the front Excuse desk me, can I have some water? Ask her something else. Excuse me, can I have a blanket <laughs> another ick when you're going room to room between one baby mama and your other baby mama oh no ick. <laughs> See that. it's the unlimited trips to the nurse's station for me This nurse situation, I debated about commenting. Um, it's it's a tricky matter. It is. Um, but the truth of the matter is that in order to work with people in healthcare, which is already a touchy subject for a lot of people, myself included, I've been in situations where I didn't feel like I was heard, where things went wrong, and almost made a joke of, made a mockery of, especially when I'm in pain or I'm giving, you know, details of my symptoms and, and whatnot. Um, but my opinion is this. When you work in healthcare, I work in healthcare, I'm only a CNA. Well, not only a CNA. I am a CNA and I've been doing it for almost 10 years. Um, when you work in healthcare, there are certain things you must have. You must be professional. Now, that doesn't mean speaking in a proper manner. That doesn't mean carry yourself in a certain way. That means that when you approach certain situations, you analyze and you act according to. You don't get on a platform like TikTok and air out your icks. There are no icks in healthcare when you're dealing with people and their emotions in their lives there are no such things as x you don't get into this field to be like oh this oh my god oh it's so much oh i can't see i can't understand it gets aggravating and irritating because people are people and people are going to people but for y'all to get y'all ass on this world wide web and express to the world how 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 much you hate dealing with people and the experiences you've had that made you ugh, like, like put a bad taste in your mouth 
What did y'all think was going to happen? You have to have a certain bedside manner. You have to have empathy for people. I'm talking about always coming to the nurse's station. Baby, because we need information. That's what they do. That's what you're there for. To give information. To be a helping hand. That is not all of your job. Your scope of practice goes beyond just medical. Okay? You have to deal with people. And with people come a slew of other situations. If you weren't ready, if you weren't prepared, maybe this ain't the job for you. Fired you are. Fired you should have been. Thank you. Have a good day. So I don't know if y'all have seen this, but Emery is hiring. So if you're trying to be a labor and delivery nurse, Emery is hiring. Because of this video, everybody in this video got fired from Emery Labor and Delivery. That's a whole shift. So if you're a new grad nurse, if you're trying to switch your specialty, if you're just about to graduate nursing school, Emery's hiring. Like, wow. We cannot even say, like, common icks. Like, this is common among nurses. We have icks that we don't like. We can't even do that. Or your butt gonna be fired. Huh. So this video going around of these nurses giving it uh, labor delivery at Emory giving a you feel me they they gripes about you feel me the they job is real funny because that's that's the doctor that delivered my baby. She wasn't the she wasn't the um I'm not speaking ill on her. I'm just saying labor delivery overall at Emory. Anything at Emory, you don't want to have your baby at Emory because they're motivated by money. You wanna know how I know? Cause they they told me. They told me. That this hospital is motivated by money. Um, I was in that hospital from September the third to the then near the sixth or the seventh with my daughter because I had to have an emergency C-section with no epidural. Now I didn't plan that, so don't get fucking stupid. Be why would you do that? No, bitch, don't nobody plan to get cut eight layers with no epidural. The fucking okay. Let me explain. My doctor was not her originally. It was Dr. Brown. Dr. Brown, when he delivers, he delivers out to Emory Hospital. So I had no choice but to go to Emory, which was fine. I had no issues. The issue arose when I got induced. I had to get induced. So I was at the hospital for damn near two and a half days before I actually delivered my child. Now, once I got induced and once they gave me the epidural, um, I was actually like about to have my baby like once they did everything they could and my doctor see me for the last time i didn't see anyone until till the morning that my daughter was born i said seen one nurse the whole time one nurse shout out to him i love you to death because if it wasn't for you i would have at least got her in the room you feel me she she wouldn't even been there if it wasn't for that one nurse but even still it was just so much shit it was so much shit that they didn't even fucking do my doctor only seen me once he never came back into the hospital cool um, my nurse, uh, actually got these doctors into the room because I was having contractions. Like I was literally mid labor in the middle of the morning on September the 4th when my daughter was born and I couldn't feel no contractions, nothing, none of that. They were like, ma'am, you need to have this baby now. What? So she comes in her, she comes in and it's like probably like two or three other black, black ladies, black doctors. I don't know if it's anybody else from in this room that didn't look familiar, but she's the most familiar one that I remember. I'm pretty sure she delivered my daughter. Um, she comes in and they're just all the way confused about what's going on. Everybody, everybody is confused about what's going on. So they're helping me push my daughter out and I have an epidural. So the C-section um, was just, uh, just in case it was an emergency. Um, she tells the anesthetician to go ahead and get that shit loaded the fuck up, right? Okay, give me a second because it's going to have to be a part two. I was asked my views about the disgraced nurses that got fired from Emory. And I thought that they deserved to be fired. They were not professional. I've given birth twice. And the the thoughts that are going through your brain, um, the pain, the fact that you could be drugged up, um, the tiredness, all of these things go through your head. And that's just on best case scenario. If you're having some kind of medical, medical emergency, 
or need a C-section or just you're having a tough time. All of that plays into, you know, what is going on and you might not be in the best of um, brain capacity or mental stability. So some of the things that these people were making fun of were just kind of egregious because I I don't know, it, it's just it, it lacked professionalism for me. And then on top of that, they're in Atlanta and we have all seen and heard about the maternal, um, uh, the issues that black women have as far as maybe dying or getting subpar service when they go into labor or go into the hospital system. So it is very disheartening to see other black women say this kind of stuff and just lack the care that you should have as a nurse. And so what these nurses did was basically open up Emory to malpractice lawsuits because patients could start connecting the dots like, did I get subpar service or was that one of my nurses or I asked for pain medication and they said no. And what I have highlighted, um, some stories that some black women have shared about nurses at Emory and specifically in this video were absolutely horrific. One woman said while she was at the hospital, she was coerced into having a C-section and had her health completely disregarded. Um, in the end, her newborn passed away under their care. This, this is just bad stuff. Okay, my room's a mess, but I, I tried to block it as much as I could. This is what it looks like when you are the night before finals, but still trying to make a TikTok video. So I wanted to get on here real quick and talk about the whole Emory nurses and their icks and stuff like that. Let me tell y'all something. It is very, very hard for a woman of color to be in healthcare in any capacity. And I'm just an MA. And I have people who don't want to speak to me, don't want to verify their identity, don't want to tell you what medications they're on, if they got a vaccine or not. They treat you like trash. And then the black women who are fortunate enough to break into this, you know, um, nursing field and be a labor and delivery nurse, that's a blessing and a privilege. And y'all talking about y'all ex. As a mother, um, given, having labor, given having labor, that's a shame. I had to get my words together, y'all. I'm so discombobulated. As a mother who's given birth three times and each time being different, it is scary. It doesn't matter if you're in a medical field. doesn't matter if you're black or white, young or old. Um... I've been on both sides. And what I do know is if you're not going to have compassion, you shouldn't be a nurse. If you're not going to have compassion, you shouldn't be in the medical field, period. But it just upsets me because black women are already at a disadvantage on both ends, being a mother, a patient at all, and being a nurse. And black women are still dying of childbirth. Our pain is still not being taken seriously. We're still being misdiagnosed and undertreated. And the whole reason for us to break into this um, health care and to be trailblazers, if you will, is for us to advocate for our own. And the fact that we have black nurses talking about their ex. And I'm not a racist person at all. But the fact that my own people, my own people are making fun of what, again, my own people go through. What about the women who have stillborns? What about the women who miscarry and have to get a DNC so you still got an ick? If you don't want to be a labor and delivery nurse, if you don't want to be a nurse at all, go home. Go be in case management. 
go work for Cigna. Like, I don't know what to tell you, but I just feel like someone who aspires to be either a NICU nurse or a labor and delivery nurse. And that has been my dream for years. And I see women taking that blessing and going on TikTok and instead of showing us what it's like to be one and how great the pros and cons or whatever y'all talk about people, that's wrong. It's that's wrong and I don't like it.